Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add reviews to your Squarespace website in 2023. Of course, adding reviews can help uh, build the trust and credibility uh, and of course social proof for your products and services on your uh, Squarespace website. So if you want to do so, make sure to stick by and let's just get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial set with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that could also have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. That will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Squarespace. Here, make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on get started and follow the prompt to create your account. Once you do so, make sure to uh, get into your dashboard and get into your website right away. So click on go to website and it, that will take you directly to your website. And of course, the first step is to choose a review platform or service that integrates well with Squarespace. Of course, there are several options available such as Trustpilot, uh, Utpo, or Google Reviews. Research and compare different platforms to find one that best fits your needs in terms of featuring or features, pricing, and ease of integration. Then, once you choose in a review platform, sign up for an account and follow the steps or instructions provided by the platforms. And you can configure your uh, review settings, such as the review collection, uh, proceed uh, process, of course, display options, or any additional feature offered by the platform. And after setting up your review platform, you will typically receive an embedded code or integration link. And this code will or link will allow you to display the reviews on your Squarespace website. So copy the code or the link provided by the review platform as you will need in the next step to add it to your Squarespace. So now it's time to add it to your Squarespace website. So uh, go navigate to the page where you want to display the review and click on edit page, of course, and locate the section or block you want to uh, the review to appears. Of course, depending on the Squarespace version you, you're using, the steps may vary slightly, so it's not a big problem. So as an example, let's just choose here, uh, maybe this page as an example, uh, you, that I would like to add the things on it. So once you added the review code to your Squarespace website, you can customize the appearance and styling of the review to match your site design. Of course, you can use the options provided by the review platforms to control the display layout and other visual elements of the reviews. And before making your reviews live, it's important to test them to ensure that they are displaying correctly and function functioning as expected so make sure the reviews are being pulled uh, from the review platform and appearing to your squarespace website as intended and you can even regularly update and refresh the reviews to showcase the most recent feedbacks so other than that as an example you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff as an example so if you click here in commerce as an example you'll be able to do some stuff so as an example if you're even like a plan is expired or subscription expired you can simply click on here see plans and you will be able to see all the plans personal business commerce uh, basic and commerce advanced and of course if you scroll down here you'll be able to compare of all of them and of course you'll be able to pay annually or monthly if you pay annually you will save as you can see here 30 percent so it's better to pay manually and of course as you can see here you can scroll and see uh, the difference about them and of course you can cut compare uh, between all of them so once you get your plan it's going to be better so you can use the square space uh, directly and good without any problem so of course here you'll be able to go and see the orders on your uh, websites if you have a store as you can see you'll be able here to see the customers if you click on it you'll be able to export or import some customers if you don't have any and the emails of some customers that you will sign the emails to if you want to and a lot of other stuff of course as you can see uh, there's even this membership option that you can add to some people on your uh, squarespace website and you can even go and add this custom merch as an example so you can even uh, design and sell like as custom products you can even go and co uh, connect with uh, these options as you can see so at the moment there is no website attached to this account but it's not going to be a, pro a problem so of course you can even go and click on this customer notification so there's the this option so let's click on next next and use the editor of course 
to custom whatever notification that we want as you can see here we have a lot of options so global email uh, salt business uh, uh, settings as you can see and a lot of other stuff that we can change on whatever we want of course you can see there's here general orders and of course a lot of other stuff as we said so point on sale uh, the customer engagement the customer account a gift card of course you can edit any of those as an example by clicking on this edit email so uh, subscription orders and even members area so you can edit whatever you want as an example here if you want to to uh, get this customer notification depending on their on their case or condition and of course you can even go here and go as you can see client to client management which is just a new feature and of course you can add ways for clients to pay you directly through website so if you click on uh, uh, set up some payments as you can see the payment name you can put it here and of course you can even go and add the image to it so i'm just going to put success here and there, you can add an image as an example i'm just going to add a random image as an example here uh, as an example this one and you can even add the amount due as an example i'm just going to put a ten dollars here and I click on save so they are creating the payment options as you can see so we'll have to go and wait a bit it should not take a lot of time so once it's created you'll find it there and of course here you can go and even instead of this commerce there is the marketing and you can even add some scheduling if you want so of course if you here if you click on marketing we will be able to do some email campaigns or profiles you can give your size visitors a way to subscribe import existing email subscribers as you can see or even add a professional uh, promotional uh, pop-outs to your site and or even you'll be able to import existing email subscribers or hire a marketing expert if you want to and of course as we said before you'll be able to add this scheduling so this scheduling will help you uh, like uh, give some appointment to some people uh, so simply you'll have to go and give it a name as an example and click on next and of course here the name of the service example so maybe consultation whatever suits you for me i'm just going to put random things duration i'm just going to put here like 15 appointment the price maybe five dollars and click on next and as you can see here you'll have to uh, check the days that you are free on and make sure to enter the time that you are free on you can even add multiple times example and you can even go and add however uh, or how much days that you want click on next and as you can see you'll have to go and connect one of the payments providers so people can pay you and use your service so if you click on connect as you can see here you'll find the stripe square and paypal click on connect and you'll be prompt to uh, connect your account so people will be able to connect uh, so you'll have to log in at your account and people will be able to pay you from there for your service of course there's even like this uh, profiles option and this will show you here the number of subscribers lead customers first time uh, customers repeat customers e even donors and even all the visitors of your website you will find them here of course if you click on this three dots you'll be able to add some subscribers exports all profiles or even manage tags so if you click a, as example on the settings you'll be able to uh, go and change the domain the google workspace you'll be able to uh, change permissions import or export con contents you'll be able to get this developer tool there's the store payments and the billing on your account so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've learned how to add your reviews to your squarespace website and 2023 of course by choosing a review platform setting up and adding the review to your squarespace site and customize the display and regularly updating the reviews you can build trust and, and credibility with your audience if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channels for more website related tips so good luck with adding reviews to your squarespace websites and i will see you in the next video